Hello, I'm Ahmad Nas. I'm an LMT FS consultant. Today I'm going to talk about the lab for exploratory testing and other enhancement with Microsoft Tense Manager 2012. In this lab, you will learn about some of the improvement in Microsoft Test Manager 2012. You will learn about how exploratory testing has become a first class experience in the toolset. The prerequisites is Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine provided by Microsoft. The lab exercise here will be exploratory testing improvement. So let's start. I will log in now to the virtual machine with user Adam and the password is B capital 2 SSW0RD. I will now open the Microsoft Test Manager. The Microsoft Test Manager allows testers to work with test plan, author and organize manual test cases and execute test cases. Now here is the Microsoft Test Manager. By default it connects to the team project that was last in use on a startup. I click on home, change the project, I'm going to choose Fabricum project. Yes, connect to it. I will add a new test plan, we'll call it exploratory testing. Add it. Now select the plan. As you can see here, there are no test cases. I will now go to the test plane, right click, and we're gonna start the exploratory testing by clicking on explore. Now the test one of window will come up and we'll click on settings. Here in settings you can change the program that will annotate the screenshot if you like, and also you can here choose audio device, but this is of course a virtual machine, so you won't be you won't be able to use a sound device. Click on the start to start the exploratory testing session. And now we will launch the explorer and load the fiber cam fiber into a portal and click on tickets. We will select an item from it. Let's say the best item. You can see here it has a title, description, customer name, map, created by and signed to, everything has a value. So let's see the edit page. Edit page looks nice, title, description and customer created by. Now let's try the delete page. Clicking on delete will go to the confirmation page to confirm if you want to delete or not. And this page we can see here there's no value for created by or assigned to and this is a bug cross. So I will go to the observation window and write the create by and assigned to is blank when viewing delete confirmation page. And we'll take a screenshot for it to make it easier for the developer to understand what I mean. Also I can double click on the screenshot and add some other attributes. I can make some highlights. For example I will write a text beside created by and assigned to. We say that they should have a value. Let's make them bold and give them a color of red. I'll close now the paint and see if the changes I have made. Let's create a bug for what we have captured here. As you can see that it's collecting the information. We have done it the steps and everything. Let's call it the same created by and assigned to our blank and assign it to Julia, our tester. As you can see here, it has the observation and screenshot and the steps. Let's save it and create the test case. We will call the test case, confirm that assigned to and created by fields appear in the reconfirmation page. We'll assign to Julia. And let's Right, expected result when click on the delete that you should have the appropriate value when click on the delete. There's a nice improvement here that we can write each text. So let's write here it's important not to click on the delete in the confirmation page. So when anyone do these steps, don't click on delete. Let's give it color red. Now it looks nice. Let's save it and continue. 
So now we will continue our exploratory testing. So the observation window here have many information that we don't need. So I'm gonna delete it. Let's continue the exploratory testing. Click on the dashboard. I pick up the first item and click on escalate. And we have a, an error here. So I'm gonna file a bug saying that I've got a 404 error. We'll click on escalation. Assigned to Julia. I will click on change steps to choose the steps that I only need for this bug. The last three steps is very sufficient for this bug. So I'm going to choose them. And here, let's just remove this line and only make it click on dashboard. Now save and click the test case. I will name the test case here and ensure that the ticket escalation page works and that's assigned to Julia we'll go to the step and remove this part to make it just click on dashboard now I'll save my test case and by this we'll end the testing now I have ended the exploratory testing after I click on end testing it shows you a summary of the exploratory test that you have done Say that we have done two bugs and two test cases. Let's save and close it. Now we have two formal test cases that are part of the exploratory testing suite. By formally capturing these test cases, we can ensure that we test them in the future. This enables us to use a blend of approaches, exploratory testing and formal testing, to improve our overall application quality. And this was the end of the exercise. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you.